how do you pray when you've never prayed before and you want to know how to pray how do you do it or maybe you've been praying for a long time and you just want to go back again over the foundations of this now prayer is not merely a ritual or a mechanism god is not a slot machine it's a relationship it's a connection and it's easy but deeper than you might think let's look at three things that you can do that will begin this process that will be easier yet deeper than you've realized prayer is the development of a relationship it's not a thing in itself it's like that will be like saying a relationship is a thing in itself i have a relationship no you have a relationship with someone and it doesn't work without the someone so it's not merely a thing in itself prayer is not a a mechanism and a means that you do within yourself it's a connection to the one that you're praying to or with and i'm going to break this conversation that i'm having with you now into three thoughts that is first of all you have to find your heart then you ask fix me and then thirdly you fall on his love let's look at those three the first one find your heart when we think about prayer we've usually come to this because we have a problem that we want to fix or there's something we want to deal with like god get me this job or god fix this relationship before you can fix the problem you have to find your heart because prayer is not merely coming to god like a slot machine i put money in this end pull the lever and out comes more money the result that's not what prayer is if you think about it if we're talking about god he sees all things so i don't have to tell him something that he doesn't already know he knows he sees but the thing is do i see do i see what's really going on in my heart in coming to god with this problem and the more i see the more we're going to have a relationship me and god that's based on reality i'm not going to be hiding from things in my heart i'm going to see clearly there's going to be honesty openness reality between us and for most of us whether we've been doing this for a long time or you're just starting we don't always know our own heart to find your heart is a journey it takes processing thought so if you're coming to god with an issue the first stage i would suggest is you go why is this important to me what's on my heart what is about what it is about this and that's a conversation i have with god I say god why is this important to me so you might be coming about a relationship and as you process that as you go on a walk and you're talking out to god and expressing your frustration you might realize that really deep down in your heart there's a loneliness that you're trying to solve and that's a deeper layer than merely wanting a relationship and so you're discovering your heart you might discover a fear you might discover a longing that at the start you didn't have but as you converse as you talk out and you can do that out loud on your own or you can be do it in do, be doing it internally whatever works best for you but you're processing out and you're going what is on my heart god show me what is on my heart you see we can be asking with something but with have different motives that want something else so we need to discover our heart and our motives uh, james says in his book in the bible that if we ask with the wrong motives god's not going to work with us to see that happen because he wants the best for us 
And if our motives are wrong, if we're out of alignment with what we're asking for in our heart, then it wouldn't be good for us to get those things. So we have to discover our heart. And that can be a short thing or a long thing. It's certainly an ongoing thing. So it's an, a dialogue. It's an expression. It's a, what do I really want? What are my desires? Why is this an issue to me? The second aspect of this is you go fix me first. You see, we can want stuff to happen on the outside. We want God to manipulate situations. We can even try and manipulate God. But the first thing to do once we start to open up our heart and discover our heart is, God, work on me. What is it in me that would prevent me from receiving what I want and having a relationship with you where you're able to give me the best things for me? When I was a teenager, uh, I had a I had something physically wrong with me, and I called out to God. And I said, "God, heal me, heal me." And I I did a deal with God. I said, "God, if you do something, if you're real and you're there and you you change this situation, then I will go to church because I figured that's what He wanted." Amazingly, things did physically change, and I got better, and. Walking past a church and thinking, wow, I made a commitment to go in there. And I just thought, wow, I don't want to go in there. That's so boring. I've been to one or two meetings in the church. They were so boring. I don't want to do this. And I was so relieved that I was okay now. It's like it wasn't an issue anymore. And I just forgot. And I can look back now and realize that it wasn't really that God wanted me to go to a meeting. He wanted to meet with me. And two years later, things happened in my life where I met someone who knew him and I began a deeper journey of connecting with God myself. Now, that bribe that I offered God, um, it wasn't what he wanted, but it was a journey. It moved me on the right direction. But I didn't realize that he wanted to fix some things in me and that's where it starts so it was clear when I was better I was then like oh I'm not so bothered about doing what I've bargained with God there was some issues in me that God wanted to look at and that would be where he wants to start with you as well as me he goes okay let's look at what's in your heart so I need to be open to discover what is in my heart and then go God Work on me. Change me. As the psalmist says, test me. Try my heart. And if there's something that's off in my heart, if I'm asking and seeking you with the wrong reasons and the wrong motives for my own selfish benefit or not realizing that this would harm me, would you work on me? Would you soften, change, expose my heart, even if it's slightly painful because I want reality, truth, and the best, and I want this journey with you to go well. So we discover our heart, and then we say, God, start with my heart. Fix my heart first. And then the third thought, I put in front of you is you fall on his love. If you don't think God cares for you and is interested in you, or at least hope that, why are you praying? Why are you coming to him in a relationship? Why are you asking things? There's a hope that he loves you. And the reality is that he does love you deeply more deeply than we understand love. So I have to fall on his love. And I deliberately use that word fall because in a sense, that's what it feels like. You can't control this. I can't manipulate God. I can't make stuff happen. I've opened and discovered my heart. I've said, God, 
change my heart first. And in this whole situation, I fall on your goodness and your love for me, that you will do good things in me. I relinquish control because I trust that you're loving. And that's the thing. We love to control things. We love to get the result that we want, probably because we think we're better suited to know the right thing, the answer, the thing that God needs to do. Whereas he loves you. So you fall on his love. That's vulnerable. That's frightening in a way. But it's the only way to start to feel him lifting you up as you fall into him and sorting things out and seeing how he does things. And sometimes you discover the way you wanted him to answer your prayer is not the best and he's got an even better way because he loves you. So I trust. I breathe out. I relax. I've opened up my heart. I've said fix my heart. And now I trust you, God, with the outcome. And this whole journey... It can be done in a few seconds or minutes, but it can also take days, weeks, months of a journey. And then when we've been through it once, it's like you can go through it again, deeper, deeper. I open my heart to discover what's in my heart. God, work on my heart. And as I ask, I trust you for the outcomes. So I'm going to pray with you. I open up my heart. Father, you hear. You see everything. You know my heart. You know the situation. I know something about the situation. And I know something about my heart. But I want to open up more. What's my heart, Father? Why is this getting to me? Come and be with me. Come and be in me. I want you to work on my heart first. Move with me inside. Show me my desires that I've, I'm hiding from, that I've buried. The things that are going on in me that I don't see. I want you to see me. And I want to see my heart. And I want to be honest and real with you. Open my heart. Fix me. Work in me. Do things in me. Because I fall on your love that you want the best for me. And so as I bring this situation to you, I'm trusting that you see better than me, see my heart better than me, and I trust you for the best. So I ask you to do something in this situation. And I ask you to do it with me, through me, in me. Because I don't merely want the thing I'm asking for. I want to be with you in it. Teach me. Keep teaching me. Keep showing me your love. Thank you that you've demonstrated your love in the Christ who came. And I'm falling onto that. 